Hey there friends, Nibs again. <clears throat> Out here at the range tonight. Uh, got to sneak away and do a little bit of shooting tonight. And I wanted to do a little bit of plinking with, uh, like I was saying before, this one is really kind of quickly becoming one of my favorite, uh, especially budget friendly uh, air guns. This is the Beeman QB Chief, but uh, that's the, not the main focus of our video here today. Um, what we're gonna be talking more about is this new scope here. I did an unboxing with it the other day. Um, I was just doing a little bit of searching on Amazon and uh, searched for three to nine by 40. And uh, this one actually came up and it was the least expensive three to nine by 40 scope on Amazon. Uh, it was $25.99. I don't know if it'll stay that forever, but as of today, it's $25.99 on Amazon. And it's made by, or at least marketed by, a company called Belici. And the spelling will be down in the title. And also you'll be able to find this in my uh, Amazon storefront. If you go down below uh, in the description, you'll see uh, my Amazon storefront link. And uh, I have a uh, several folders. I have uh, air guns, pallets and BBs, uh, accessories, and then I have a separate one for just optics. And uh, this will be in there. I can't guarantee it'll be $25 forever, but uh, it is very much like a lot of the other ones you see, the, the CV Lifes and, and things like that. And uh, I can't think of any of the other brand names off the top of my head. But uh, this one did say it was rated for all air guns, all air soft guns, all air guns, and all 22s. And it does list it as shock proof um, and recoil proof. So it does not specifically say that it's rated for Springer air guns, but everything that they say in there makes you, would make you believe that they think that it is. So um, we're going to start it off. We're just going to test it a little more. Uh, be a little more easy on it for the first test. Uh, and if it proves well with the uh, QB Chief here, then we'll switch it over to a Springer. Maybe I'll throw it right onto my Diana 350 Magnum and, uh, and really put it to the test. But uh, I've, I've zeroed it with uh, Crossman Premier hollow points and it really seemed to be doing good. I really didn't spend a lot of time doing groups with it, but I got it zeroed and the couple shots after that went right where I had it zeroed so uh, so far so good uh, of course these PCPs don't have any kind of recoil but uh, let's talk a little bit more about the scope before we get into some shooting um, it is a 3 to 9 by 40 uh, I'm shooting 25 yards here and I've got it set at about 5 power right now um, I can crank it up to 9 and, and get it pretty clear 25 is a little close it was getting a little bit uh, a little bit cloudy, a little bit hazy at nine power at 25 yards. But if I do take it out to 50 or 100, I, I can really get a nice clear picture. It does have a quick adjust uh, ocular uh, lens back here in the back. And uh, you can really get a nice, nice clean focus on it. It has a, uh, they call it a, a range finding reticle in there. And I'll put a picture of that up here this is from the amazon website i just uh did a screen capture but that's what it, the reticle looks like in here but yeah i can i can go all the way out to 100 yards and uh we have a steel plate i'm not going to try to shoot this gun at 100 yards but uh we have a steel plate out there and and i can it's nice and crisp and clear but when i come back into 25 yards it, it's it's a little bit much for uh I, did, I was able to get it to focus, but I think 25 is, or five power is, is more than enough. Like I said, it's loosely zeroed. So we're gonna go more for grouping right now than for, uh, than for, you know, worrying about point of impact so much. But uh, I'm gonna do a group with the Premier hollow points. I did try a couple with the, uh, I've got some H&N Excite hammers, 22 caliber also. And I also have some Barracudas, which are really heavy. So we'll try some of those as well. Yeah. 
All right, let's go ahead and take some shots at uh, Splatterburst downrange here. Like I said before, we're shooting 25 yards. Got the Beeman QB Chief with the Belici. I'm gonna start out with the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. These are the ones I actually roughly zero this thing out with. So we'll go ahead and try those first and, and then we'll try some of these other ones, uh, see how we do. Ooh, shoot a little high. I don't know why that first one went high like that. That's weird. All right. Other than that first one, it seems to be doing all right. I'll throw an extra one in here and try that. Yeah, really nice group except for that first one. Let's do one extra one and just make sure. That one was a, just some sort of fluke. I don't know what happened there. I told you guys about this in pre previous videos, but I actually, this has the same trigger basically as the, like the Crossman, uh, Crossman model uh, 180 or you know, the Barra. And you can do quite a bit of trigger mods to this and I got this thing down to a really nice uh, it's under eight pounds for sure or under eight ounces for sure or about eight ounces for sure all right yeah I have no idea what happened with that first one let's go ahead and uh, we'll try some of these so these uh, premier hollow points are 14.3 grains these uh, H&N's are a 14.7, so a little bit heavier, but not too much. They're still a round point, so this gun seems to really like these round points. Try it. Next splatter burst over. Again, up high. What is going on with that? Am I doing wacky things with the rangefinder? I don't think so. Well, that one's going went high too. I did not zero with these pellets, so I kind of expected the point of impact to shift a little bit. I do, have the, I do have the velocity cranked up on this thing, so my shot count is quite a bit lower than it normally, than it was when I first got it. Wow, this thing is flinging these uh, H&Ns all over, or, yeah, the sights all over the place. Let's, let's see if it'll shoot a Barracuda before we wrap up here. When I first got this, it was doing about 600 feet per second and I could get about 25 or 30 good shots with it right now I've got it set at a little over 700 feet per second with the Crossman Premier Hollow Points and uh, I'm getting about 20 shots with it so I think that's a really uh, really good kind of trade-off as far as power to uh, shot count Same hole as the first one. I like that. It's a decent little scope. I, I don't think there's any. I don't think that H and N 
I don't think that planking, that Excite Hammer's problem was anything to do with the scope, for sure. Oh yeah, this thing's shooting these barracudas nice. Just about to run out of air though, I know it. Can I get one more? I think I'm gotta be just about out of the out of the green zone. All right, wow, one ragged hole. Can't ask for much better than that. Oh, I'm still just inside the green zone. That's not bad. So I, I shot a couple of shots before I started up and I shot, uh, I shot six crossmans, four of the, so I shot 15 shots. So I probably got close to 20 shots on this, uh, on this fill. And uh, I probably got enough air there for one or two more good shots. So, but uh, we're not here about the gun. We're here about the scope. So uh, the Belici scope, I'd buy another one. It's a, it's a nice little, uh, very inexpensive. We're gonna throw it on a Springer next, see how it does. But uh, on this Beeman, except for the gun not liking those Excite Hammers, uh, it shot really good with the Crossmans and it shot really good with the Barracudas. And uh, if you can't see through the scope, you can't shoot good. So I would say uh, that really helped things out. But uh, anyway, if you wanna get this scope, you can find it in my Amazon storefront. Really cheap right now. I can't imagine it'll go up much more than that, but uh, this would be great on, great on a 22. I, I would really think this would be really great on a 22 as well, uh, 22 rimfire. Uh, this is a 22 pellet gun, and it's doing awesome on this. So there you go. Check out my Amazon storefronts. Check out my, I have uh, also have a new thing going with uh, Pyramid Air. The affiliate link for that is down below as well. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys if you guys are going to shop on Pyramid to use that. Um, I need to show some uh, interest there, so uh, they'll uh, let me uh, get some other affiliate things going there. But uh, I hope that'll uh, really turn out to be a, a good addition for the channel. So, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.